Hello my cosmic family and my bright lights. It's your girl, Maddie Murphy, here to talk about the Virgo new moon. Obviously, this is one of my favorite new moons because it's in my sun sign of Virgo, but it's also one of my favorite new moons because it has so much more to unleash. This is truly boss babe, boss witch energy, new moon. What are the intentions? What are the seeds you want to plant around showing up in the world, really connected to your purpose, um, showing up in the world and doing things with efficiency, grace, and ease, and showing up in the world, making that coin while also making the world a better place. So these are all some of the themes of this new moon. Also themes of this new moon, editing, perfecting things, going back, fine tuning your vision, your dreams, your actions, your thoughts, your words. And before we get into the new moon messages for your sign, I wanna remind you of a few things. One, make sure to check your sun and your rising sign. When we astrologers pull charts, we really pull it for the rising sign. So it's gonna be um, appropriate for your sun and your rising, also known as your ascendant. Two, if you are um, looking for more rituals, more ways to tap in to Virgo season or this Virgo new moon, definitely make sure to download our digital magazine, the Cosmic RX Guide to Virgo Season. This is bonkers, I swear to you. I put so much effort into this because I am obsessed with teaching you about how to harness the astrological energy of every zodiac season. Because once you do that, you can live in more alignment, abundance, flow, baby. And you might especially be interested if you're a Virgo sun, moon, rising, because there's lots of good info on your cosmic superpowers in there. So make sure to download that if you're looking for more tips. So this Virgo new moon, I'm about to get into the new moon messages, but I want to say one thing too, is that this new moon is making a very interesting aspect. It's trining all of the Capricorn planets, AKA the Capricorn gang that caused the wild experience slash wreckage slash implosion <laughs> that is 2020. So this new moon, the sun and moon are trying Jupiter in Capricorn, Saturn retrograde in Capricorn, Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. So this is a lot of earth energy and you're being asked to really get grounded and really look at <clears throat> the areas of your life that this new moon is hitting and thinking about a total reset, a reset on how you spend your time, a reset on how you spend um, your faith and hope and energy and a reset on how you own your personal power. Okay, so let's get into 